Hey everybody, um, I want to talk to you about six areas you can invest in your business in 2019. Well, it's Todd Conklin here and I, I want to talk to you about an interesting stat, right? Less than 20% of real estate professionals created an actual business plan in, in this year, the previous year. Less than 10% of them actually did the actions in the business plan. Like, I don't believe that they did this because they don't care, right? In fact, I believe they care deeply. They de care deeply about their businesses, their clients, their families, like just, you know, like their word. I believe that the number one reason is simply that they just don't know what to, to do, how to do it, and then, then like, then what? Like, I got this plan. And, and we all know that most companies don't lead their agents. They just sort of leave them out there to figure it out on their own. And as we say, hope is not a strategy. <laughs> so at Coldwell Banker, we believe 100% we're going to get business plans. We're going to help you develop those business plans, create it, understand it, apply specific actions, and we're going to track and we're going to measure. We do all these things, right? It's one of the primary reasons Coldwell Banker Distinctive Properties agents post such large increases in their personal income year after year. It's like industry leading stuff. So this, this episode, I, I want to share with you six specific but simple areas that you can invest in your business this year to produce real results. So the mindset needed to be successful in business is one of business ownership, right? So we got to make sure that we're acting like entrepreneurs. So number one on my list is past client sphere of influence, that touch campaign. This is number one on the list because it's the number one thing every entrepreneurial agent should be a master at. In today's market, you have to be in contact with your past, uh, past clients and sphere of influence. And best practice right now is 45 times or more, right? It needs to be a blended plan, right? Like we've got this set it and forget it stuff. So, so don't freak out, right? But it needs to be set it and forget it and belly to belly. You got to start here. Number two on my list is farming like an absolute master. Farming has always been a struggle for agents and most of it's because it's expensive, right? And it, it requires this, this commitment in both time and money. And in order to ensure that a farm is truly effective, you, you really have to deploy a comprehensive approach. And I teach a five-step strategy that includes direct mail, um, events, uh, like building a database, phone calls, door knocking, um, and I'm happy to provide that to you all um, if, you, if you'd like it. So number three on my list is a personal assistant. This is an area it's very easy for you to, to invest, right? You ask any successful agent or leader, um, their success is less about what they say yes to and it's more about what they say no to. And, and this is an incredibly valuable lesson. And one way we teach this is, is by doing the math. So, so I'd like to do this math with you if you wouldn't mind. So grab your phone, grab your calculator. So if you want to make $100,000, right? So plug that in. You have to figure out what your hourly rate is, right? The average full-time person is going to work about 2,000 hours per year. And that's with vacations and holidays and weekends, that kind of stuff. So take the 100,000, divide it by 2,000 hours, and you get $50 per hour. Right. So now that's that's the hard part. Right. How much of what you do on a daily basis, both personally and professionally, are you doing that is not fifty dollar an hour work? Right. Like, like, let's look at some examples. Right. Like, would you pay someone fifty dollars an hour to shop for your groceries? Of course not. Right. But you are every time you go to the store for groceries, you're paying yourself fifty dollars an hour. What about transaction paperwork or like fill in the blanks, right? Bottom line is there's a lot of things that the typical agent is doing that isn't $50 an hour work. And if you're saying that you want to make $100,000, you have to make sure that whatever it is that you're doing on a daily basis is $50 an hour or better work, right? Test yourself on that one, right? Number four on my list is video. We've heard a million times. If you're, if you're not doing video, right? Like we're all watching it happen right before our eyes. If you're not doing video, it's a race to extinct, extinction in your business, right? There's just too many disruptors trying to take your clients from you every single day. They're, tell, they're saying they're providing them with best practice on how to sell and showing themselves as the experts. And if you want to retain your clients and you want to compete with the disruptors of the world, right? The Zillows or the people that are promising virtual this and that and the other, you, you really need to get started in video right now, 
right? It's way too easy to shoot a video every week, helping a buyer or a seller with a common question or a concern. And if you're the expert, if you're the personal person, when they need an expert, they're going to call you. Number five on my list, coaching. If you're not investing your time and money in coaching, this is an extremely important one for you. All the mega successful people in leadership, entrepreneurs, sales, sports, etc., all have coaches, right? The trick is to make sure that the coach that you're paying, you're paying them because they've actually accomplished what it is that you want to accomplish, right? There's a lot of folks out there that are saying, oh yeah, yeah, come, 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 but like they never built a business. So the numbers don't lie. Bottom line, if you're engaged with coaching, you increase your revenues more than 50% year over year, right? Who wants a 50% raise? Go pay for coaching, right? Top level, right? Top level. Here at Coldwell Banker, we provide top level coaching for free. Um, so it's it's important to leverage, obviously our coaches leverage our tools with the industry tools and the Coldwell Banker tools, but call me if you have any questions. Number six, last but certainly not least, you've got to be the knowledge broker, right? Understanding the economics, what's happening with the slowdown, every market transaction, there's an opportunity. You just simply have to do the research. Bill Norris, a mentor of mine um, in my early years, once told me that real estate professionals really don't mind if the market is going to go up, it's going to go down. We just don't want it to go flat, right? Wise words for sure. So where are you getting your wise words? One source that I really like is Keeping Current Matters. Um, they aggregate information from all the primary economists and then they put it all in a language that real estate agents can then take and we can educate our clients, but it really makes us the, the expert. So an example, um, did you know that, that all the primary real estate economic sources are calling for appreciation in 2019? That's what I said, appreciation, right? And that they're calling for more inventory to hit the market in 2019 than even 2017? 2017 was big, right? KCM will help you get to the truth, be the voice of wisdom and calmness. And I think it's like 20 bucks a month or something like that. Um, I did create a one page uh, for, for this and all the links and all the information. So if you like that, please click on the link below um, and I'll make sure I get that sent over to you. And if you're interested in learning about how we're helping agents and leaders to grow their companies, please reach out to me. I'd love to set a quick 15 minute call and see if I can help. So I hope these six areas to invest in your business were helpful. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to you know, send you whatever, have that call. Um, send me an email. You can comment on my Facebook. You can send me a text message. Um, just let me know. Was this helpful? Is there, is there a particular topic that you would like? And hey, as always, be distinctive. <laughs>